I can't even remember the last time I played this game. I don't think I've ever done this on stream. Get word to SCAT headquarters. I want them in the air SCAT immediately. SCAT headquarters. I'll send word right away. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> what does SCAT stand for? Shit, crap, and turds. <laughs> The Lali Lula Lo? What? What are you talking about? I mean, come on. Jean Luc. SCAT stands for Special Covert Action Team. Not some childish acronym for toilet humor. Focus. Man. We're dealing with terrorists. Not playing potty mouth in the playground. Let's get serious here. Time to show those crying lions what SCAT is really made of. And it sure as hell isn't crap and turds. Button. Campbell, I just learned how to duck walk and uh, roll around. Where the f are you, Campbell? You abandoned me. <laughs> Colonel Colonel is uh, from Metal Gear, and so he he's taken a break from helping Snake, and he's come over to help Jean Luc. Yo, Campbell, where you been? I've been trying to contact you for hours. I'm in training right now. They're teaching me how to look left to right, turning my head. Training you to look left and right. You're doing well. Holy shit. What's next? This a crash course in breathing? <laughs> I guess they really do start with the basics for you. you Make sure you master that complex skill. We wouldn't want you getting dizzy and falling over during the mission. Try Let's it. hope they don't teach you how to tie your shoelaces next. Or we'll be here all year. I know it might not mean a lot to you, Campbell, but I just learned how to open a door in the training course. Open a door? Uh, Jesus Christ. Jean-Luc, the are they training you or potty training so you? you? Next. <laughs> They'll be giving you a gold star now, for using the big boy to the toilet. Room. Snake could infiltrate a high security compound while you're still There's figuring out left from right. Let's get moving. And for God's sake, try not to embarrass Scat too much. We can't all be Snake, but you could at least try to be a poor man's version of him. Good, Look at that, Campbell. I just well. got past some uh, security lasers. Now, Could Snake do that? Next oh, wow. You dodged some security There's lasers? Let me call the press. Listen, Gene Luke, Snake didn't just doors, dodge lasers. He danced through and minefields while blindfolded. Getting past panel. a few lasers is child's play compared Keep to the shit he's pulled off. This is Winback, and I have Campbell assisting me. That's good, Jean Luke. You're doing well. Well, now, I think hot damn, Jean Luc, run. you blew up a box without blowing yourself up? Yourself I'm shocked and mildly impressed. That's like a that toddler not spilling oh, his milk. But hey, it's progress. Maybe there's hope for you yet. You're still leagues behind Snake. He could blow up a tank with his eyes closed and one hand tied behind his back. Freeze. But you, let's just say, don't try that yet. You can now proudly call yourself an Ace Scat Commando. Well, 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 Campbell. Guess who just got promoted to Ace Scat Commando? Well, slap my ass and call me Sally. That's like being the smartest kid in detention. <laughs> but hey, congrats. Maybe now you can tie your shoelaces without calling for backup. You're still a long way from being a legend like Snake. I doubt Solid Snake could ever become a member of Scat. Ha! That's the funniest shit I've heard all day. Snake could run circles around Scat with his eyes closed and one hand tied behind his back. But hey, keep dreaming. Maybe one day you'll get close to being half the soldier Snake was. Oh, fuck. Did I parachute? I just land on the ground. Start mission. Holy shit. Your chopper blew up and you're in a military base with a random crew? This is some next level chaos. You might not have snake skills, but you've got to channel your inner commando now. And for fuck's sake, try not to get blown up again. It's bad for your health. This is kind of wonky. I think I need a drink. God damn it. Now's not the time to be thinking about drinks. You're in the middle of a hot zone. Not a fucking happy hour. Jesus, Jean Luke, this isn't a pub crawl. It's a high stakes mission. But don't get so slosh that you can't tell friend from foe. If things get really hairy, find a cardboard box. It works every fucking time. They destroyed all my cover! If your cover's blown to hell, it's time to improvise. Find a new position. Oh no! And don't stick around oh, in no! any spot too long. I got a text. Stay alive out there. <laughs> oh shit. Died because of a text message? Jesus H. Christ. Gene Luke. That's a new one. 
Next time, keep your phone on silent. Learn from this fuck up and adapt. You're not going to get unlimited do overs out there. A sniper with a shotgun? That's some grade A dumbassery right there. Shotguns are for close quarters, not sniping. Sounds like these crying lions might be just as clueless as you. Use this to your advantage. And for fuck's sake, this could be your chance to actually shine. Don't fuck it up. Hey, Campbell, can you explain to the new recruits why I'm in a cardboard box? Uh, the old cardboard box trick. A classic. Gene Luke might look like a total jackass hiding in a cardboard box. But there's method to the madness. In the field, sometimes the most ridiculous ideas are the most effective. A cardboard box is simple, inconspicuous, and surprisingly versatile. Never underestimate the power of cardboard. Fuck. John Luke. It's bad to get shot in the head. Do you know anything about the Crying Lions? Tell me about this terrorist organization. They come from Sarkozia, a place that's been a hotbed of conflict for years. These guys are not your run-of-the-mill criminals. They're committed, they're armed, and they're batshit crazy. You need to be on your A-game. And let's face it, your A-game is probably like Snake's C-game, but it's what we've got. <laughs> Okay, you gotta give me some credit, Campbell. I've killed about 30 terrorists now. How many has Snake ever killed? Snake? That guy's kill count is like trying to count stars in the sky. A legendary, endless tally. He'd probably clear out these crying lions before you could finish your next drink. But hey, you're doing... Uh, ooh, something, I guess. Keep it up. And who knows? Maybe you'll be half as good as Snake one day. Oh fuck, I knew I should have brought my extra pair of socks. What the hell were you thinking? Even Snake knows the value of dry feet. Wet socks are a one-way ticket to Blister City. Next time, pack like your life depends on it, because it fucking does. And while you're at it, maybe bring a few extra brains too. You're going to need them if you want to keep up with the big boys. These crying lions are cheating. They just shot through the wall. They're using wall hacks. Snake would have expected that kind of shit and planned 10 steps ahead. He'd use their cheating tricks against them. Probably blow the whole fucking wall down with C4 or something. Stop whining about cheats and start thinking like a commando. Campbell, you gotta remember who the fuck you're talking to. This is John Luke here, the guy who can look left and right. Oh. Wow. John Luke can look both left and right? Shit. Stop the presses. We've got a real prodigy here. Folks. Next, you'll be telling me you can chew gum and walk at the same time. Just think, what would Snake do? Probably something a hell of a lot cooler than just looking left and right. Okay, time to get serious. Got you now. Headshots. Two headshots in a row? Fuck me. That's actually impressive. But don't start patting yourself on the back just yet. Snake would have racked up a dozen headshots by now, <clears throat> blindfolded and with one hand tied behind his back. The more crying lions you drop, the closer we get to shutting down that damn space laser. And maybe one day you'll be almost as good as a rookie snake. Almost. Campbell, it kind of sounds like you're in love with Snake. Uh, fuck off. Gene Luke, it's not about being in love. It's about respect. Snake's a goddamn legend. The best fuck there off. ever was. You gotta acknowledge greatness when you see it. Now, stop gossiping like we're at a high school dance and get back to popping heads and saving the world. Remember, those crying lions aren't going to kill themselves. Well, <laughs> unless you trick them into it, which would be pretty fucking hilarious. Campbell, I forgot my uh, ladder training. I don't know what to do. There's a ladder in front of me. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's a ladder, not rocket science. You put one foot on a rung, then the other foot on the next. Keep doing that until you reach the top. I can't believe I'm saying this. The fate of the world doesn't hinge on ladder skills. But right now, it kind of depends on you getting over this one. Who are you, Campbell? I kind of remember you explaining to Snake how to climb ladders, press the action button and all that shit. You were very nice about it. Ah, uh, Jean-Luc, comparing your ladder woes to Snake's, please. Teaching Snake about ladders was like teaching a shark to swim. That guy grasped everything faster than you can chug a beer. With you, it's more like teaching a toddler not to stick forks in electrical sockets. But yeah, 
<laughs> I'm Colonel Campbell, the guy who has to remind Ace Commandos how to climb a fucking ladder. I'm about to die and I forgot where I dropped my health. Jesus Christ, this isn't a goddamn Easter egg hunt. It's a life and death, save the fucking world kind of deal. Now, find that health pack, and maybe next time, don't forget where you put the one thing keeping you alive. Hmm. That's it. John Luke, no witty comeback. No, oops, found my health pack in my other pants. Come on, get your head in the game. This isn't a vacation. It's a mission, and you're the one who's supposed to be saving our asses from the crying lions. I got a real problem, Colonel. I got a pee and there's terrorists all around me. Just remember the cardboard box trick. Hide in one, take a leak, and then sneak out like nothing happened. Just don't forget to leave the box behind. You don't want to carry that evidence with you. John Luke, are you trying to turn this into a shit show? Listen, I don't give a damn about squatting, standing, or your bathroom habits. We're in the middle of a goddamn mission here. Focus on the terrorists, not your toilet tactics. You've got crying lions to take down and people to save. Remember, you're a commando, not a plumber. Keep your head in the game, aim your gun, not your ass, and let's get this job done. And if you really need to take a crap, find a cardboard box. It's versatile like that. But for fuck's sake, get your mind back on the mission. This isn't a stroll through your grandma's house. It's a deadly game of hide and seek with the crying lions. Ah! <laughs> no! Uh, that's it? Come on, Jean-Luc, you're an ace scat commando. <laughs> Not a monk in meditation. If you're stuck or need advice, spit it out. I'm about to die. There's like five terrorists. I'm going to take them all out and prove you wrong that I am just as good as Snake. One and a half inches of health might as well be a full bar with that attitude. You're in the shit now. But this is your moment to shine. If you're going down, take those fuckers with you. This could be your Snake moment. Go out there and kick some ass. Colonel, great news. I found more drinks and I can hold more drinks while doing the mission. Finding drinks isn't exactly the kind of success we're aiming for here. We need you sharp, not sloshed. Get your priorities straight. Snake wouldn't get caught dead with a drink in hand while on a mission. Be like Snake. Didn't Snake smuggle in some smokes up his butt on the Shadow Moses mission? Yeah. Snake did smuggle cigarettes into Shadow Moses, but that's not the point. Oh! Snake knew what he was doing. Those I'm smokes stuck were on the more wall. Than just a nicotine fix. They were a tool, part oh. of his arsenal. He used them to detect <laughs> infrared sensors and other shit. It wasn't about getting his fix. Other it was about shit. staying one step ahead of the enemy. Uh, conveyor belts and boxes. Huh? Sounds like you found yourself in a prime spot for some stealth action. Just like Raiden in the Big Shell. Those moving boxes can be perfect for cover or to create a distraction. You know what? I feel like I'm doing uh, better than Big Boss ever would. Can you start calling me Big Boss? Big Boss is a legend. A title earned through blood, sweat, and a shitload of battles. You take out a few terrorists, and suddenly you're ready for the big leagues. Slow down, cowboy. Actually, can you call me Bigger Solid Boss? Holy shit. Jean-Luc, you're really ramping up the ego here, <laughs> but all right. Show me that you've got the brains. Brawn and balls to back up that name. Campbell, what's it called when you uh, step into a room and forget why you stepped into the room? Ah. Uh, that's called a brain fart or going into a room and having a senior moment. The world's not going to save itself, especially if you keep forgetting why you walked into rooms. Hey, can you call me Bigger Solid Cyborg Ninja Boss? With a name like Bigger Solid Cyborg Ninja Boss, You've got a lot to live up to. You better be ready to move like a ninja, strike like a cyborg, and command like a boss. Let's see some of that ninja magic in action. Campbell, I changed my mind. Can you call me John Cena? Now it's for stealth reasons. Ah, I guess if you're aiming to be invisible, that's one way to go about it. And hey, if you ever get spotted, just remind them, you can't see me. Let's hope they're wrestling fans. Go get them. <laughs> Champ, who needs a cardboard box when you've got the power of invisibility on your side? You know, Campbell, I just want to thank you for respecting me when I ask for it. I don't like to earn it. I like to demand it. Well, 
That's one way to go about it. Respect is usually earned through actions, not just words. You want the kind of respect that legends like Snake have? You've got to show you're worth it through guts, skill, and sheer badassery. Just remember, talk is cheap. Back up those demands with some kick-ass action, and then you won't have to demand respect. You'll have earned it. And remember, you can't see me, and especially when I'm in a box. Dude, Campbell, has, we've uh, bonded. We've come a long way. He really fucking hated me in the beginning. <laughs> they used the wall hacks to kill me again. Wall hacks again? You're John Cena, for fuck's sake. Now go out there and make them wish they never messed with you. Campbell, can I get a mic check? All right, scat team, gather around for a fucking mic check. Here goes, testing. Testing, this is Colonel Campbell, coming in loud and clear. If you can't hear this, you might as well be a sack of potatoes with a gun. Campbell, your mic check got me killed. Uh, fuck. John Luke, that's on me. But getting killed during a mic check, that's gotta be a new record. Stay alert next time. And maybe, just maybe, you'll live long enough to actually accomplish something. Oh man, so if I reload my gun after shooting two bullets, I lose the 28 bullets of the other clip? Uh, John Luke, seems like you're finally grasping the basics of ammo conservation. It's not like in the movies where ammo is endless and magazines magically refill themselves. Be smart about it. Don't waste resources, Snake never did. He was a master at making every shot count. Learn from that. No point in losing bullets like you lose your focus. Campbell, I just need to let you know, I have a pubic hair sliver of health left. A pubic hair sliver of health? God damn it. Jean-Luc, <laughs> you really have a way with words. Remember, staying alive is priority number one. You can't fight if you're dead. And for fuck's sake, try to be more careful. You're not invincible, far from it. Don't make me send a medic out there to save your ass. Damn it, Colonel, I just took a shot to the face like one of your VC hookers. Jesus. Gene Luke, you really have a way with imagery. Taking a shot to the face is no joke. <laughs> Though, you're not making it easy to keep you in one piece. Campbell, I can't remember, was it gonorrhea or malaria that you got in the San Geronimo Peninsula? Uh, fuck. Jean Luke, you're really digging into the archives. Aren't you? Let's just say the San Hieronimo Peninsula was full of all kinds of dangers. And not all of them were from bullets or enemy soldiers. But let's keep some things under wraps, oh shall we? What happens on the peninsula stays on the peninsula. Let's focus on your code name, Ace Scat Commando. Make sure it stands for something more than just an ace at getting into trouble. And remember what Scat really stands for. Let's get serious here. Scat stands for Special Covert Action Team not some juvenile toilet humor. You're part of a highly skilled and elite unit, not a comedy club. Uh, John Luke, what the fuck did you do this time? Accidentally set off a grenade in your pocket? Mistake a crying lion for a stray cat? With you, it's always something. And for the love of God, try to avoid any more oops moments. We're not in this for the blooper reel. I gotta be honest, Colonel, I have no idea where to go. I think I'm just gonna head back to the liquor cabinet and make a drink. For fuck's sake. Man, this isn't a vacation. You're in the middle of a mission. Pull yourself together. The crying lions aren't going to be defeated by you getting hammered. Campbell, tell me something ridiculous to take my mind off the pain. I'm about to die. Did you hear about the soldier who survived pepper spray and mustard gas attacks? He's now a seasoned veteran. But hey, don't you dare kick the bucket on me yet. I'm not done giving you shit. And you're not done with this mission. Focus on staying alive. Remember, pain is temporary, but giving up, that's forever. Jean-Luc, you're not getting off that easy. Dude, so you're openly admitting to giving me shit and shit? The la li lu la lo? <laughs> what are you talking about? Jean-Luc, focus. We're in the middle of a serious situation here. What's that popular song by Scatman John? Ah, uh, that's a blast from the past. His popular song was Scatman, Skiba Bop Ba Da Bop. It's a catchy tune with a rapid fire scatting chorus. 
the guy turned his stutter into an iconic music style, <laughs> which is pretty damn impressive. The chorus of Scatman, Skiba Bop Ba Dop Bop by Scatman John is like a tongue twister on steroids. I'm the Scatman. Skibi Dibby Dib Yo Da Dub Dub. Yo Da Dub Dub. Skibi Dibby Dib Yo Da Dub Dub. Yo Da Dub Dub. I'm the Scatman. Skibi Dibby Dib Yo Da Dub Dub. Yo Da Dub Dub. Yo Da Dub Dub. Keep your eyes open and your gun ready. And maybe hum that tune to yourself while you kick their asses. I am dummy thick trying to sneak around, but my uh, ass cheeks keep clapping, alerting these guards. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. Sounds like you've got a real tactical disadvantage there. But hey, <laughs> let's make it work. If your <laughs> assets are giving you away, it's time to rethink your approach. Hell, use it to your advantage. Set up an ambush when they come to investigate the clapping. And use that legendary thickness of yours wisely. And try not to start a one-man applause while you're at it. Remember, it's not the number of testicles that makes the soldier. It's the grit and guts. Um, am I playing on hard? Why am I on hard? That's what my last save was, right? I didn't even know there was a difficulty. <laughs> Uh-oh. We just lost the PS3. It overheated. Damn, what do we do? Campbell, I got some bad news. You know, uh, Mei Ling wasn't around to record my mission data, and so I thought I could do it myself, and I fudged it up. I fucked the whole mission up. There's no record anymore. Uh, fuck sticks. John Luke, losing the mission data is like dropping your gun in the middle of a firefight. But hey, shit happens, even to the best of us. Well, maybe not to the best of us, but definitely to you. Learn from this colossal fuck-up. We can't cry over spilled data. Keep moving. Hey, Campbell, how do I fix my PS3? You know, just in case I uh, end up saving the world and I get back home to my Sony PlayStation 3, how do I fix it? Fixing your PS3. Well, Jean-Luc, that's a bit outside the usual scope of saving the world. If your PlayStation 3 is overheating due to dust, get a can of compressed air. This is your main weapon against dust. Open the case. Be careful here. You don't want to fuck up and break something else. Gently blast the dust away. Fuck, I'm supposed to use air? Compressed air? I used a water hose. Holy hell. Jean-Luc, a water hose on your PS3. That's like using a grenade to swat a fly. Electronics and water go together like snakes and mongoose. They don't. You've got to restart the whole mission. Huh? Think of it as a chance to do everything better this time, and maybe not hose down any electronics along the way. Remember, every mission, every fuck-up, is a learning opportunity. And hey, if you pull this off, maybe I'll let you take the credit. Um, maybe. Campbell, I'm about to judo-chop this guard. He's gonna die. Judo-chopping a guard? Well, that's one way to keep it quiet. Stay sharp and keep it clean. The less noise we make, the easier it will be to get the jump on those crying lions. And remember, judo chops are cool, but don't get cocky. Keep moving and stay focused. Let's get this done. Am I better than Solid Snake yet? Ha! Keep dreaming. John Luke, Snake's a legend. The kind of soldier they write books about. You? Well. Judo chop! Just remember, it's not just about the chop. It's about timing, precision, and knowing when to strike. A judo chop is cool. Jean-Luc, when you're part of SCAT, you're going to get some shit. But that's because they know you're a threat. Let your skills do the talking and show those crying lions what SCAT is really about. For the record, Campbell, I'm not into SCAT at all. It's not my thing. The la li lu la lo. What are you talking about? <laughs> Let's keep our minds on the mission, huh? Focus on taking down those crying lions and showing them what you're made of. The less time we spend on e misunderstandings, the better. No more booze hunting. Get your heads back in the game, and let's take care of business. Hey, Campbell, you old sack of shit. You know why you can't see me? Uh, John Cena, always with the attitude. I can't see you because you're a stealthy motherfucker, right? <laughs> you're out there blending into the shadows. Being the invisible ass kicker we need you to be. No more beating around the bush. Ski ba 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 da bop. 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 I'm the scat man. Oh. 
shit. Losing team members is never easy, especially in the heat of a mission like this. My condolences for Matt, and let's hope Dan somehow made it out of that mess. So far I've killed like a thousand terrorists. Holy shit. Jean-Luc, if that's true, that's some serious John Wick level carnage. Just make sure you're not exaggerating for the sake of a good story. Three. Nice move, Gene Luke. Ah! <laughs> uh, you see it, John Luke just jacking off on the stairs. Holy fuck! Yo, Campbell, where you been? I've needed support this whole time. You've just left me out in the battlefield with my dick in my hand. Ah, uh, fuck. John Luke, you wouldn't believe it. But I was busy teaching a group of rookies how to hide in a goddamn cardboard box. You know, the basics they somehow forget at the academy. Shit. Oh, that's it for AI Campbell, dude. We went through a hundred thousand characters on this stream. Damn. Uh. <laughs>